Hi everybody, I am That Nursing Prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the different types of leukocytes. Leukocytes are white blood cells and their job is to help prevent us from getting infections. There are a few different types and they all work a little bit differently. So let's get into it. Monocytes are produced in the bone marrow, then they travel through the blood to the tissues where they become something called macrophages. These are our largest white blood cells and they are something called a phagocyte. So when we talk about the leukocytes, they're gonna be phagocytes or granulocytes and that's the way that they work to help destroy foreign you know, invaders, pathogens, things like that. So phagocytes, they kill them directly, they eat them. So they kill microorganisms, ingest foreign material, and remove dead cells. They are specifically really good with funguses and viruses. Basophils are another type of leukocyte, most commonly happening with an allergic reaction. These are something called a granulocyte. So a granulocyte is different from a phagocyte because they have small granulos, so granulocyte, right? So they have small granulos that they release and then that is what kills the foreign pathogen. So in the case of basophils, they excrete heparin for blood clotting and histamine to induce inflammation. These are the least common type of white blood cell. Neutrophils, also produced in the bone marrow, they are really effective against bacteria and fungal infections. They both ingest microorganisms like the monocytes and release enzymes to kill pathogens like the basophils. So they are actually both a phagocyte and a granulocyte. Now something special I wanted to point out. If you're ever looking at your patient's labs and you see something like, oh, they have a left shift, or a shift to the left, or they have a lot of bands. What does that mean? Less mature neutrophils are called band cells. So think of band cells as like baby neutrophils. So why do we care about that? If there's an increase in the number of band cells, this is called a left shift or a shift to the left. And what does that mean? It means that there's an infection. It means that there is a big infection in the body and the body is saying, okay, we need to make more and more neutrophils to help us fight that infection off. So we have a lot of immature ones that are gonna grow up <laughs> to become neutrophils, mature neutrophils that are gonna help us fight off this infection. And then mature neutrophils are the first to arrive at an infection site. And then second will be our, our monocytes, our macrophages. And then finally, our eosinophils, these are granulocytes, so they release the granules. Their job is to neutralize histamine in an allergic reaction. They are great if your infection is parasitic in nature, but they can be very dangerous. Too many can cause tissue damage. So if your patient has asthma and they have too many eosinophils, this can actually cause tissue damage to their lungs. So important, important little fact about eosinophils. These are the four types of leukocytes. I also now wanna talk about something called lymphocytes. Now I very briefly wanted to touch on lymphocytes and what they are and what they do. So we have our T cells, our B cells, and our natural killer cells. Our T cells are called that because they come from the thymus, which starts with the letter T, so that's how you can remember. They are heavily involved in what's called cellular immunity. Their job is to recognize material as foreign. So they see these foreign antigens that's presented to them and they go, oh no wait, that's different, that doesn't belong. And that can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing. In some cases where it's a good thing, it can help us fight infection and it can even help us destroy tumor cells. In the cases where this isn't a great thing to happen to our body is somebody who's getting like an organ transplant, somebody who needs an organ transplant, and then their body recognizes that as foreign and then it rejects that organ. So that's what T cells do. B cells are involved in something called humoral immunity. And I do have a video on cellular versus humoral immunity if you wanna check that out. But that's what they do. They're involved in humoral immunity. 
Then they differentiate and become something called plasma cells, which produce antibodies, which are referred to as immunoglobulins. There's also B memory cells, which helps the body remember previous pathogens. So it'll say, oh, I recognize that infection. We've had that before, so now we know how to fight it better. And then finally, I wanted to touch on our natural killer cells. They do exactly what it sounds like they do, okay? They're very good at killing pathogens. They are located in the lymphoid tissue, which is why they are a lymphocyte, right? They are potent killers of virus-infected cells and cancer cells. So these are killing the cells that have been infected. They release cytokines, and they also help to mobilize our T cells and our B cells. So that was my video on the different types of leukocytes. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.